Hi there, this is Helen Tarrant again from Helen. another episode of commercial property roadshow here with helen tarrant and actually i've got something really interesting to show you and share with you today now about two years ago we did a, this video which is a little bit shocking if you go back and see how much our videos have changed in the last two years on youtube but about almost two years ago we started a refurb property for one of our clients now it probably should have been done in 12 months but he only did it on weekends and he had long breaks he had he had work that got caught up so he really didn't pay much attention to really getting it refurbished so it was an old shoe shop in Maitland he totally gutted it they've been there for 30 years and it was just disgusting so they basically bought it as vacant possession tenant left they gutted it uh, they actually turned the stairs around created an upstairs area as well into a two bedroom upstairs but you know, it's taken a long time and now the tenants finally moved in. It's only because it could have been done anywhere from six months to 12 months. The original plan was that he was going to go fully into it, but he never did because work and everything else get caught in the way, as we know. But I want to show you before and after. So you get to see what it's like before and after. We, we couldn't get access to the two bedroom apartment upstairs because they already have someone living in there. So we bought it for 425000 Probably spent about 20% of the purchase price. It's about seventy-five dollars to $80,000 was spent on this property. So more than what they anticipated, more than what he wanted to spend in the beginning. But then he decided he was going to go all out and actually spend a lot more on the property than he to get the maximum value out of it. So upstairs is tentative for about $400 a week, a two bedroom apartment, which is sort of that the, the most expensive range of Maitland. Uh, but because it is really beautifully done, newly renovated in the center of town, that's what people are willing to pay for. There's no parking with this property. And sometimes if you think, oh, parking is really important. Well, there's no parking with this. Uh, and tenants can park, you know, there's parking stations further down, walking distance, so they can park all around there. The actual um, downstairs, it got converted, originally thinking, looking at options of putting restaurants in there, um, putting uh, office space in there, and putting all sorts of different tenants that would be retail driven, but office can be office driven as well. But it ended up being a photographic studio. Now the new tenants coming in. So new tenants going to be paying somewhere around $35,000 a year. So you see that upstairs will be about 20, about 20 or so thousand, about $400. So downstairs about $35,000 a year. So it's going to be about fifty five, a bit more than $55,000 a year. Now that's, that's gross rent. You take out some outgoings, but ultimately this property will be returning if you were looking at what this person has spent in terms of out uh, of purchase price and renovations he'd probably be getting about a nine percent yield on this deal right doing it up even though it's taken him two years he should have taken 12 months and he could have done it in 12 months if you were doing it more full time or spending more time rather than weekends and doing most of it yourself so um, now the property is going to be sold and the new value of this property is about dollars uh, $750,000. So we've actually got someone who's ready to buy it. Uh, the agent's got someone to ready once the tenant moves in. So you get dual tenancy is one of those things that most people are sought after because it's got upstairs and downstairs and you've got resi and commercial up there. So and it's in the center of town in Maitland, which incidentally during COVID has had the highest population demographic movement. Movement. So more people moved into Maitland than anywhere else around the country, which, you know, not something predictable, but it'll certainly add it to the value of this property. So yeah, it's a, it's a good flip because he would have probably, I think at the end, maybe spent five maybe have spent 550,000 on it um, maybe let's call it 570,000 if he sold it for around 700 or um, 750 he's making 130 180,000 dollars on it now again you know something to do as a part-time he works full-time in construction as a project manager so the owner of it uh, of the actual project so he's actually really flat out in his day-to-day -day job he actually doesn't have time driving out from Sydney to do it so it's just just something that if you wanted to do it on your side 
um, something that you can uh, if you want to just speed up it's also you can so it's about finding those gems right so let's go and have a look uh, and Stephen's going to show you because he's just been on site to look at the property here's to show you what has been done with the property and also show you some snippets of what it looks like beforehand as well you'll be totally amazed All right, good afternoon, everybody. We're up here in Maitland, uh, where we've just about finished a um, fairly long project where we took an old shoe store and completely rebuilt the inside of it. So what I'm gonna do is spin the camera around uh, and show you what we've done, and you can get a, a pretty good feeling of um, the sort of stuff you can do with an uplift there. All right, so here we are in the main street of uh, Maitland, an area called The Levy, um, also known as High Street and it has a series of different types of shops and bits and pieces so if you have a peek um, there's just about everything is being leased out but uh, one of the things we have done is taken uh, what used to be the old Zira shoe shop which was uh, closed down uh, worldwide I think Zira closed down around about two years ago and we've turned it into what's going to become a photographic studio where the people print photos and also hang them and display them for retail. So let's go and have a look. And so when we first got into this project, it was quite a rabbit warren. Um, it hadn't been touched in probably 30 or 40 years. Oops, sorry about the view of the wall. So it hadn't been touched in 30 or 40 years and where I'm standing was actually out on the footpath. So what we've done is we've moved the doors forward so that they match the rest of the shops near here. We've put a, a two-bedroom apartment upstairs. Now, you can see that we've got a drop bulkhead there for the lights. The reason we've done that is because that whole ceiling is two layers of fireproof chiprock called fire check. So we've had to make sure that we've had proper fire separation. So if someone happens to set fire to something here, then it isn't going to affect the people upstairs. The stairs are over there, they were in the middle of the shop, and there was lots of little walls in here which we've taken out and um, replaced with just these little walls to um, divide the premises off into two places and the lady can hang more photographs. That was the power board which was uh, all fully exposed and ugly. We've put in two new split cycle air conditioners. We've redone it with a um, quality pre-manufactured floor but it's the uh, waterproof hardwood variety so over a hundred dollars a square meter there is another entry to the levee which is out the back uh, there's a toilet there obviously and we put in a little kitchenette so they can make coffees and things so it's been a complete rebuild there is almost no surface in here that hasn't been touched all of the walls have been rebuilt replastered the floor where i'm standing was actually dropped about 70 mils so we've lifted that up and uh, it's just a blank canvas for anybody who wants to move in a little cupboard under the stairs and uh, there's the retail entry and as you can see the door lines up with the front of the building which is the same as all the other shops in the area so how did you find that? Was that exciting? It's totally different, isn't it? That what you can do to a place, right? So and this is really the key to uh, you doing an uplift project is adding that value, right? It doesn't matter whether the market is having a downturn, whether the market is having up. Obviously, in a buoyant market, you can get a lot more for the property, but it doesn't matter where you are. It, you still will engineer value and cash flow and equity and that's the whole point but they don't all come about easily a property like this you've got to evaluate it on uh, the firstly if you're going to achieve the end value secondly what is going to be tenable and what's most popular and what is most suitable for the area 
when you look at it. How much is it going to cost you in capital works and do you have the time and money to do it? And then uh, ultimately, you know, what is the right purchase price for it and holding costs and etc. to look at, right? So all of that comes into equation and it's very, very individual and unique to your situation. So, you know, with an uplift project, you've got your 101 uplift where you've got your vacant retenant, you've got something like this, which is put a much more complicated where you're going to be doing a whole gutting, rebuilding, bring it up to scratch and brand new that you're actually creating value for forever, forever for whoever the purchaser is. So wherever you are on that spectrum, there's a lot of mentorship, a lot of strategy and a lot of hand holding that goes through it, right? So this project has taken two years. The the client has been with us all that time and we've in that time helped his son into a pro property. Um, we're now helping him to exit the property, not with not to one of our groups, not sold to one of ours, to, an, to just on the open market. We obviously liaise with the agents, we get a lease, um, and then constantly monitor the project as well. So that's what we can help you to do. If you're looking at a project that you can add value to, increase the yield, increase the cash flow, and also increase the ultimate value, whether you're holding or selling in the future, this could be your next step. Uh, if you're finding that land and development in residential is too hard, you wanna get into commercial, Something like this could be your next step. So reach out to us, connect with us, helentarrant.com, Unicorn Commercial Property. Click the bell, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.